Let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! <laughs> oh, <laughs> the power on this blade, baby. Gotta love it. CBR 1000. Fucking double R. But hey, guys, I know some of you guys have asked me about the oil burning issues that re were reported on the CBR 1000 double R. And I'll tell you first off. I was actually gonna buy this bike a year earlier than I bought it, but the main reason I didn't was because I was concerned about these oil burning issues, you know, that people, some people were complaining about on the forums. I mean, this dates back all the way to the 2008 model, which really, that was the main year where uh, the CBR 1000 R was affected by oil burning issues. Uh, after that, it, Supposedly, Honda corrected the problem, but some people still reported oil burning issues. Even on the 2012, some people reported that it had burned some oil. So it had concerned me. And, uh, but a lot of people were telling me, hey man, that's bullshit. That, uh, you know, so I decided to get the bike anyhow and see for myself. And I'm here to tell you guys, I have 2,272 miles on this bike. And uh, I'm going to show you in this video, we're going to do a oil level check and see if it has burned any oil. I haven't checked in a while, but the, the last time I checked, it didn't burn one single drop of oil. As you guys know, I run Ro uh, Shell Rotilla T6 5W4, uh, excuse me, 5W40 synthetic oil in this bike and I've always run it on my uh, the CBR 250R that I had and the CBR 600RR that I still have and uh, it's good oil you know you don't have to get the name brand oil that says motorcycle on it in order for it to be good oil I'm telling you guys a lot of people can testify that 5W40 excuse me T6 5W40 shell Rotilla T6 is great oil but hey we're gonna pull over in this parking lot and we're gonna do an oil check okay and as you guys know, you should check your oil level when the, the bike, the engine is warm. Okay, we'll check it here. Now what you want to do, once you take out the dipstick, don't screw it in when you test it. You just want to stick it in there and then pull it out, but you want to make sure the bike is level. So we're going to pull the bike here level as we possibly can and whoop, stick it in there, pull it out, and we'll test it here and see what's going on. Look at that, guys. As you can see here, guys, not a single drop of oil disappeared all the way up to the line. No problems. Okay, put that back in there. See that, guys? No oil burning issues. And I'll keep you guys updated. I'll do the next check at uh, when I do an oil change at 4,000 miles. Because I, I change the oil every 4,000 miles. The motorcycle manual for this bike says to change it every 8,000 miles. I think that's too long, in my opinion. You know, And with this... Uh, Shell Rotilla T65 W40 oil being so cheap you can get it for 20 bucks at uh, Amazon shipped which I'll include a link in the info section of this video to that oil get it shipped to your door for 20 bucks five gallon container so no oil burning issues for the CBR 1000 double fucking ah oh, love that bike baby look at that pearl shining yellow beautiful 
All right, let me get out of here. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.